Tran awakens on a sandy shore. It seems he has washed up on a desert island, along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. He decides to take a look around to see what he can see. Suddenly, Tran hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Tread might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. Isle of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity. The sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven? Or hell, more likely? Huh? What was that noise? Hey, Spikey, who the heck are you? Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? You were on a ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach? So how come you didn't cark it too? What's your story? Your name's Tran, and you're an apprentice builder? Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Melroth. <laughs> hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. Oh. Oi, it's this way. Boy, it's this way. Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you've never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from this shipwreck. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board. But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... <coughs> what the? Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. We should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. The girl isn't dead yet, anyway. There's no response, it's just a corpse. A wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. There's no response, it's just a corpse. Wave, sea. Response, corpse. Sea. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Where am I? How did I get here? <laughs> you're you're p p pirates, aren't you? Filthy rebooting brigands who shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. Ah! There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? There's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? That girl has got some serious issues. Why do you say we go and shut her up? Permanently. Trying to hide behind this door here? That's what I think of that. Get away from me, you villains! If you're going to take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with Tran when your ship sank. Just a moment. Do I know you? Huh? Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters bark orders at you. I know you're in cahoots with them, so that means this is all your fault. 
Well, what are you going to do about it? You're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh, well, all right. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn-out workbench outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Now, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see... Lulu's demands. Make a room. We'll need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some of the decking for the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You won't have to worry about splinters that way. Cook food on the bonfire. We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. There's bound to be a scallywink or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on the bonfire first. You'll need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels on their shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to use. Put some beds. Now, I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters, so we shall have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. You're gonna need a lot more than a bed for that. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, Bossy Boots. Who made you the leader around here anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. Say that again, and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from this savagery? No. Pardon? I couldn't hear you over the waves <laughs> crashing on the shore. I'll ask again. Yeah, fine. <laughs> That's wonderful. I know you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises, if you like. Then, when you become a fully-fledged Builder, you'll have me to thank for it. Training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? Well, how about we put her out of our misery instead? Melroth, despite our differences, I like you. <laughs> you should know that I probably put you to death in Dragon Quest 2. Training exercises. Ha! <laughs> I've got a good training exercise for her. Throw her in the sea and see if she can swim. Dude, you're funny. How's the building work coming along? I do hope you won't keep me waiting too much longer. That girl really gives me the hump. First she won't stop whinging, then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her lackey. Oh, you're even standing up for me. Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a sloppy sad case. She's a castaway at the end of the day. Same as us. You've got to look out for number one. That's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know you said you were a builder? Is that, like, something to do with the duck's nose? Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of her errands you'll do first? If it was up to me, I'd mend these, those walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes, and hey, presto, we built ourselves a brand new room, right? To be honest, I blanked out the rest of her requests. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. Hey, what happened to all my wood? I probably get lost in the tutorial. Okay. Alright, fine, whatever. Alright, so I need some wood. I'll learn the buttons eventually. <laughs> hey Tran, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does any of that actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get the materials which you use to make new stuff? That's what being a builder is all about? Ah, okay. I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look, they might be ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. Well, not that I remember, anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful, builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know those scallywinkles Lulu was asking for? 
There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. This is it. Yeah. What's that funny looking thing you've got there? It wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles that girl was jabbering on about by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn. And that's something I'd rather avoid. Oh, cool. The girl said she wanted you to repair that room, right? How would you do that? Just like, find something to fill the gaps in the walls and stick it in? Well, nobody's using what's left of the ships and decking anymore. Why not use that? You can pick the blocks up with those gloves of yours. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Hitting the wrong buttons. Oh. Thought I had to build pieces. But all the pieces are right here. <laughs> <laughs> room. Tran, you repaired my room. Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay, and you two are very welcome to stop by any time you like. Well, wow. she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Right, next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of those scallywinkles on the bonfire, didn't she? Is this something you can do? Yaha! A big bundle of branches that burns brightly. Huh? What's the deal with that book? Huh? You just invented bonfires and now you can build one if you have enough materials? All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn-out workbench? Yep. Well, if it's oil you need, I can give you some. I wrung this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. Hmm. All you need now is wood. That girl said you can get some from the driftwood on broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. Anyway, you'd better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It only put her in an even worse mood than she was already in. What's that you've made? It's hot as heck and it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. I'm Prometheus! But are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? You can use a bonfire to cook food. Select an ingredient, put it on the fire with X, and then press A to start cooking. See what happens when you throw a scallywinkle on. Okay. Place it. And cook it. 
Careful, Tran. The Scallywinkle just fell in the fire. Did I mess up? Ah, that must be how you cook it. So you builders can make food too, eh? Still, it'll be a little while until that Scallywinkle is completely cooked. Let's go and look for some more materials while we wait. Food takes a little time to cook. Just try to be patient. It'll be ready before you know it. Tran makes his first seared scallywinkle. That aroma. Is that the smell of a succulently seared scallywinkle? I must have it. Hand this over. Nope. What? Look here, builder. Stop playing games and hand over the scallywinkle. Fine. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> ah, the scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grains. Simply irresistible. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking on a bonfire. I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare. It makes me much healthier, too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Oh, how rude of me. I just realized I never ask your names. Tran and Malroth, you say? I know you're a builder, Tran, but what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm... Actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely blank. Well, well, an apprentice builder and his amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him, you must be dreaming. That's me. Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywinkle has filled me up nicely. So, Tran, how's progress going with the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. Basic bedding made from dried weeds plunked in a pile, and be slept on. Here we go. He's got his book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make straw bedding out of dry grass? I think I saw something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? Place and hook. When hunger strikes, if your fullness gauge ever drops to zero percent, you won't be able to dash or string two sword slashes together. It's wise to fill, fill your stomach before that happens. Yep, two rooms out of one door. I like that, that he jumps around, he goes around and helps you. Tran examines the strange stone carving, but nothing happens. Fifteen percent fullness, twenty percent fullness.
For a builder, I sure I'm doing a lot of destruction. Aren't you going to put that straw bedding down in the room? We'll catch our death of cold if we have to sleep outside. We need three bits of bedding, remember. I don't want to have to share it with you or Lulu. I like you, but not that much. <laughs> How's the building work coming along? I do hope you won't keep me waiting too much longer. I mean, not, I don't think the roofing matters, but I wanted to make sure we could be protected from the rain. This is wonderful, Tran. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energies, and after the sun goes down, we'll be able to while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. <sighs> I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with the Builder, and on a desert island no less. When the children of Hargon attacked my hometown of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. So I stowed away on that accursed ship hoping to avenge their deaths, but I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you will watch over me in these trying times. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I suggest we all get some well-earned rest. Well, Tran, looks like we took care of every last one of that little madam's demands. So this is the power building, huh? Let's see now, you've repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me suffer. I do believe that's everything. I must say, it's a real relief to have a builder around, and judging by the quality of your work, who would never imagine you are still only learning the ropes. I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. The castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. And as for you, Malra, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture, maybe even some manners. Yeah. Now then, Tran, I want you to go out at first light every morning and forage 30 scallywinkles and 50 strips of kelp. It must be all be cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. Sorry, Tran, but I'm far too tired to talk. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow, so I'm going to get some shut-eye. I suggest you two do the same. <sighs> I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. <sighs> hey, Tran, can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try making something myself. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Hey, I'm learning the buttons. I only had to pause a little bit before I decided to Because I'm not used to to the controller. Uh, the only controller, the last controller I really used a lot was the SNES. It was YXBA, so the letters were reversed compared to this Xbox controller I'm using now. Well, it's Logitech, not really Xbox, but it's modeled after an Xbox controller. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this trend. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now then, what was it you do first? Well, first I open the menu, and then I pick the item I want. <laughs> no, that's not right. Huh? 
Darn it, why isn't this working? All right, you ask for it. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Tran. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all this stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. Mega Cypress Stick. <laughs> A stout and sturdy wooden cudgel. Is that for me? What would I want with a silly old stick? It's not just any stick, it's an oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff? Ha <laughs> ha ha, that sounds right up my alley. Alright, I'll take it. Give it here. Give to Malroth. Hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. I like it. No, I love it. Swishing slimes would be so much more satisfying now. And the thing he made using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Tran. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me. I think. Huh? huh? Tran, can you feel that? Huh. Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. <laughs> This could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. There's some kind of massive monster around the coast of the west, I can feel it. What do you say we go and christen my new club? What was that? When you stuck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five. It's something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh. I never thought of myself as a touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high five malarkey. Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Mm. Malroth gets stronger. Charon reaches level 2. His maximum hit points increase. <laughs> Felt good whacking that rat, right? It's like an irritating little itch has been well and truly scratched. But don't forget, you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess want and destruction is much more my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, alright. You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Tran? I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together, just you and me? But let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. Resting in a bed during the daytime will restore your health, but climb into bed at night and you'll go straight to sleep and wake up bright bright eyed and bushy tailed the next morning. Just carry a bed with me, maybe I could have slept there. Oh, 
How do I abort? Maybe there is no abort. Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast for the be- eh? No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my Scallywinkle! It disappeared! What? Alright, Malroth, own up! I know it was you! I purposely only ate half of that seared Scallywinkle last night so I could have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant! What are you wittering on about? I haven't touched your manky half-munched mollusk. Huh? That aura, what's going on this time? Hey, you too, you're going to want to see this. Huh. Ah, there's the culprit. That monster must be the one who snapped my Skellywinkle. Ho ho ho. Um, Malroth? You know how you said you'd take care of the destruction? Whoa, it just took down the whole cliff! And are those steps? Ho ho ho! This way, young whip whip whippersnappers! That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm, on second thoughts, maybe it'd be able to tell us something about this island. Tran Lulu, let's get after that monster. I've got some questions that need answering. What's the deal with that floating, glowing monster? I've never seen anything like it before. Have you? That monster stole my Scallywinkle. I demand we give chase and take back what is rightfully mine. What? Hold on, did one of you guys start freaking out? Oh ho ho! This way, this way. Quick, quick, quickly now. Grr. Stay where you are, you freaky fogey. I don't like this one bit. That mad old monster has even made the sky turn a funny color. Who cares about this stupid sky? I want my breakfast and you two are going to jolly well help me get it back. I'll just make you a new one. I thought you fell off, dude. I know it's the other way, but I'm gonna... I like wandering off the beaten path. Bird's eye. And map. Yeah. Venture south. I should bring a bonfire with me too. In addition to a bed. There's the bridge from where I started. Oh, I take it. I want, I want to keep it. I guess I'm not really allowed to do anything yet. Let's head back to the path since I can't seem to do anything until I complete this section. Oh. 
This way, kid, kid, kitty winkles. Nearly there. He's leading us a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammerhood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? Yeah, probably. That monster's got some kind of strange power. I've never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. But you mean the power to destroy mountains? Don't forget about that one. place like this doing on a desert island. Come on, Tran, the hammerhood's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on all the island secrets. What's the deal with that floating glowing monster? I've never seen anything like it before, have you? That monster stole my Skellywinkle. I demand we give chase and take back what is rightfully mine. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. There's no escape now, you sneaky Skellywinkle swindler. Just hand over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham ham hammerhood her half snarf leftovers? I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing. No ifs or buts about it. Fan steered that Skellywinkle especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. Ah uh, yes, Tran. It just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock 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 up here for oh... A very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? Oh ho, you're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pinched that scrum scrum scrumptious skellywinkle was to lure your fine friend up here. Look around you, Tran. This temple has lain in this sorry state for longer than I can recall. You are the builder I believe you to be, and perhaps you can fix 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 it. Everything you need to rebuild the Tim Tim Temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find the going diff diff difficult without a blueprint as a guide. Come back here, you conniving old codger. If you think we're going to fix your house for free, you've got another thing coming. Huh? And anyway, what's a blueprint? Huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Karen draws out a mountaintop temple blueprint. Can I just auto build this? Full view. Guess I'm already full viewing it. Down a level, up a level. Okay, that's full view. Zoom, rotate. Okay, and the glowing red things are probably the stuff I need. Yeah, it looks like it. Er, uh, Tran, why did you draw all those lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints the hammer was telling us about? Gosh, you've never even been here before, but you're still able to draw up a design for the mountaintop temple. That's incredible. Now all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint to the block now. Hmm. That old loony was telling the truth. Those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. It looks like all you need to do is place the masonry wall blocks in squares and put the brazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are you ready to show Gary Glows a lot how a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Press back when you're standing on Blueprint to view more info about it. Check the Blueprint as you build, and make sure every block is in its rightful place. Grand obtain some masonry wall blocks. Grand obtain some braziers. So this is a Blueprint. I think I get it. Maybe. Everything you need to finish it should be in those two chests. Better open them up and get moving. Be sure to look at the blueprint extra carefully and place each piece in its proper position. It looks like all you need to do is line up the masonry wall blocks in the little squares and place a brazier in the center of each. If you make a mistake, use your gloves to fix it. Once you've completed the blueprint and mended that monster's temple, he might give me my serious Skellywinkle back, then I can finally break my fast.
Train completes the Mountaintop Temple Blueprint. Good work, Tran. You finished the blueprint. And you didn't even break a sweat. I think I'll have you build a palace next. That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing, though. How did you come up with that blueprint in the first place? Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book on your back has everything you need to know to be a builder written inside. You're busted now, Tran. The secret's out, so you may as well let me read it. You won't? Why not? Something the matter with Tran? You've gone all red. Wait, you don't have a monkey magazine sandwich between the pages, do you? Lucky this doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with a damp cloth and it'll be good as... Ho ho ho. You finished repairing the temple, I see. I knew you would, would, wouldn't would let me down. All it took was a glance and you drew up that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're the real deal, Tran. A builder, born and bred. Bread, bread. As a thank you for your hard work, 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 I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it for the crack crack cracking job you did. Yay! Hammer acquired. Bash blocks the bits with big hard hits. Silly old hammer. I thought you were going to give me back my breakfast. That's a giant mallet. An indispensable item in the toolkit kit kit of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break 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 blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. I also have another quirk quirk quirking gift for you, Tran. I'm sure you'll like this one. I give you this island, all of it, every last block, block, block. What? You're giving him this entire island? All he did was repair the temple. This world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into their very own piece of paradise. I recognize that area. But now, everything has crumb crumb crumbled away. All that remains is the ancient builder's belief, in bed bed bedded in the blocks beneath us. I didn't see that little table, though. How well, long have I waited for another builder to come? One who can bring life back to this barren land, block by block, block, block. And you want Tran here to do all the hard work. We don't even know what we're supposed to build. And we don't know who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. I'll have you know I'm the guardian spirit of this island. And what I say goes. But it looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, Tran. Are you going to take the offer? If you do accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'll stick around too, at least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you say, Tran? Will you take the island? It's a stonk stonk stonking good offer. Nope. Honestly, Tran, Papa always said you should never look a gift horse in the mouth. And you're looking so hard you can see right off the other end. Fine. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work on Lulutopia. The first thing I want is a palace. Malroth, I need you to... Lulutopia? I don't think so. Today we established Malroth's Empire of Investoration, right Tran? And she can be our first sacrifice. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I like the title and his first objective. I go with Malroth. Ho ho ho, you young upstarts, this island belongs to Tran now. You should leave big 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 decisions like these up to him. Now Tran, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you can break, break, break this wall behind me. There's an absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think you'll be very interested in. Hammers are perfect for bashing hard blocks. Press right trigger once for a single strike or press and hold to hit continuously. You can switch tools anytime by pressing A. Use that giant mallet of yours to break, break, break through that wall up there. Find a smash, smash, smashing treasure behind it. I hope you and Malrath are as excited about building the kingdom of Lulutopia as I am about watching you do it. I wonder what this smashing treasure could be. Another mallet for me, maybe?
you call that a treasure? It just looks like a tiny little notice board to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact a portal through which a builder may peek 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 into other dimensions. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel at all the knock 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 out things you see. The notice board is where builders go to share their favorite snaps. Use it when you want to show off or, or need a spark of inspiration. You must be connected to the network to access the notice board. You must create an account if you wish if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Your account has been registered successfully. Oh, that was easy. Oh, too high. Oh, the bush. Okay. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Which is July 12th. So, not during the demo time, I guess. Well, these are probably PlayStation people. I wonder if it's cross-platform. Probably not. <laughs> Sashimi tonight. Alright, I see this. Ho ho ho! Did you like what you saw, young young youngins? Oh yes! I saw the most wonderful photographs, and there were so many of them. I hope Tran takes the time to snap a few himself. I can be his model. And then he can post them on a nose board and share them with the world. Ho ho ho, you young young youngins, enjoy yourselves. Come and find me when you're done done done. I'll be waiting right out here. The cheese, open the menu with start and press Y to enter snapshot mode. You can store up to 99 snaps in your album, which can be accessed from the miscellaneous submenu. So that thing's called a notice board, is it? Well, if it helps you become a better builder, I'm all for it. There were some fantastic photographs on that notice board, weren't there? I hope you'll get snap happy with your creations as well. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. But how do you like your new notice board? It's quite the snap snap snapper's paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of those boards nearby, you can flout 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 the laws of space and time and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire. And you can put your creations on display for other builders to view too. I'm sure you can see that the notice board is a soup soup super source of ideas and inspiration. I thought that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you build the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. There's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's this island. There are hardly any raw materials. I don't think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Ho ho ho, I know that little last last lassie. There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track 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 them down elsewhere and bring them back here. I just wanted to pull them away from the building. As the young damn damn damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lack lack lacking in useful materials for an inspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you'd make much head head headway with just the three of you. Wood and stone 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 are all well and good, but what you really need is people. You'll have to travel to other islands and bring back back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat rat rattling around on this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces will really liven the place up. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to these other islands without a ship? Ho ho ho, a top 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 notch question indeed, and one that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Hmm? Ho ho ho, ship ship ship. Whoever would have thought it? You're doing this on purpose now. Alright, out with it. Who are you really? And you can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. Oh, to tell you the truth, I can't remember remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. But I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back 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 to me if I watch train work as building magic. Oh, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of the ship and get the work started. New destination has been added to your map. It seems things are about to get pretty interesting around here. Come along, train. I want to take a closer look at that ship. If you want to build this island into your own personal paradise, you'll need to travel to distant lands to find materials and dig 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 out some new friends to help you. You can see the ship from here, people.
Before we go, I want this chest. Will they give me free food if I when we sail? Probably not. Not too close. Ahoy there, me briny bilge rats. I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. The name's Brownbeard. I was painting the ocean blue, minding me bee's knees, when I sailed right into the path of one of the children of Hargan slave ships. I managed to avoid him, but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized my map was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on my portboard bow and punted over. So what's your story? How did you young snapper whippers end up here? My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. Or at least it will be once Tran here is finished with it. Lulutopia, eh? Looks like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. I ain't a safe haven for a salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what would have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy's talking about. Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here to the second stain on my back's backside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of me neck, and I don't know me neck at all. But if you hear of any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry you over. <laughs> well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks in a decent nick. I'd say we've got a deal. Ho ho ho, it seems everything is drop drop dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to nearby islands, where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and able bod bod bodied helpers to bring you back. Well, the first thing Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Tree-lined boulevards, spacious parks, and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrow Field. An island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit fruit fruitful farms. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming, and a dash dash dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your cause. I'll mark 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 it on Captain Brownbeard's map. You just leave the sailing to him. You heard the magic monster, Tran. Come and find me when you're ready to go, and we'll weigh you to anchor. It was five tons last I checked. <laughs> okay, that's... Alright, just in case it doesn't he doesn't feed me for the sailing trip, we're gonna go ahead and eat this here. So I would assume I would assume they if it if it takes you any time. At least maybe it's because I'm thinking of uncharted ocean and food's always a concern. I'll hold the fort while you two are off gallivanting around this furrow field place. Just be sure to bring me back a souvenir, and don't forget the materials and helpers to either. When you're ready, just give that brown beard geezer the word and let's set sail for Furrow Field. It's high time for you to set set sail, Tran. I wonder what adventures await you across the ocean. Ahoy, Tran. Where will you be hauling anchor to today? Cool. You can now travel to Furrow Field. <laughs> it's a little hammer hood. Kind of looks like a smiley face, but I really know that's his body there and that's his hat right there. That's all I can really do. Alright. When you travel between islands, your save data will be overwritten and your autosave will be deleted. Please do not exit the game or turn off the system until you reach your destination. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah. But I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You have to leave behind everything you've gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. Tran, Nara. You decided to go to this new island then. Yep, we're not sticking around here any longer. Hop aboard, Lulu. You're coming too. Actually, I think I'll stay here. What the? Thought you'd leave all the hard work to us, did you? Just get on board. I'm sorry, but I can't. After what happened on Hargan's slave ship, I don't think I can stomach setting foot on a boat right now. Don't let that stop you from exploring this furrow field place. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look, I'll have you know. You got a big responsibility on your shoulders now. Lulu Topia needs materials, food, and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back. 
Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you how to turn this island into a green and pleasant land. Together, we can make Lulutopia a verdant paradise fit for a princess such as myself. Ho ho ho. You two go off 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 on your little adventure. Lulu will be safe here in my care. Heh, <laughs> as if we can trust a word you say. Still, it's only Lulu's neck on the line. Alright, let's roll. We round up all these furrow fielders and put them to work in the sweatshops of Malarth's Empire of Evisceration. Exactly what I was thinking. When you get back, we can have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Lulutopia's foundation day. Bon voyage! <laughs> Come on, Tran. I can't wait to see what furrow field is like. All this talk of food and farming is making my tummy rumble. <laughs> All aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. Saving. So, the Lord of Destruction has befriended a builder. Destiny moves in mysterious ways. Neither men nor monsters can escape its influence. But now is the time of creation. Build to your heart's content, young builder, while we await the day of awakening. There is only one who can save this world from oblivion. Malroth, the Lord of Destruction.